So you'd like to switch from Windows to GNU slash Linux, but you don't know where to start. Well, you come to the right place. Now, why should you switch from Windows? Well, because there's even more telemetry than ever before in Windows 11. It is a nightmare to change and manipulate the browser to get it so you can actually use your favorite browser, not Microsoft Edge. Updates that come in and annoy you because they come in without your permission. So. The traditional distribution that everyone chooses to recommend to new users is Ubuntu. I don't recommend it that, but if you were to go through Ubuntu, I would recommend Ubuntu Mate because it comes with a really nice, nice uh, layout selector that allows you to have a have a, a Windows, Mac OS, and other looks to it. But so what I would recommend would be something like Fedora Workstation or when the Fedora spins like the effort mentioned Mate, but if you're more technical users, I'd recommend you do something more like Arco Linux compared to Manjaro, which Manjaro will has a weird tendency to break for some people, especially if you try using the AUR because not everything's in Manjaro's package repositories. So to start off, you'd want to go ahead and download one of the, uh, an ISO. Now what is an ISO? An ISO is an image file. It comes with the Operating system pre installed, and you need a flash drive. So find a fair, spare flash drive or buy one and plug it in and use a program called Belina Etcher. And you select the ISO and then you select your flash drive and hit flash. And after a while, it should start. Now I've already gone ahead and installed Linux on my computer. However, or I will demonstrate how they install it using a virtual machine. All right, as a side note, if you were to go with Arco Linux, if you're a much more advanced user, I recommend that you choose something like Arco Linux D because it's a, it is much more bare bones and won't contain a bunch of bloatware unlike Arco Linux L, which I've installed. Now I shall show you how to install using Ar uh, Arco Linux because the install between Although there are different installers, but the, the differences between Ubuntu-based and Arch-based are visually not that different. So I, I shall show you that way. First, uh, boot into the flash drive by going into your BIOS. I cannot show you that because it, the BIOS can boot up a number of different ways and you just have to know the easiest way to do it is pressing the delete key after restarting your computer because it'll boot into it and you can either change the boot order to, to start with your USB or instead uh, boot directly into it. Now there's the Arco Linux installer and shall adjust the resolution so it's easier to see in this virtual machine bigger so when you boot up, you'll find this welcome app. Now, if you know what you're doing, you should click the advanced installation, which if you're a more advanced user, you should right click this. However, if you're a normal user and you want to try an arch based distro for some reason, we'll go ahead and hit easy, I guess. So I'll give you a welcome screen and you choose your language, your time zone and your keyboard. Then if you were installing and you had Linux or Windows installed, you can choose to install alongside it. However, since this is a virtual machine, it can only erase or manually partition if you're a maniac. But we shall choose this and swap is how Linux caches is RAM in case it runs out of RAM. My machine has plenty of RAM, but it doesn't hurt to have swapped the file. ext4 is the default, but ButterFS is a really neat one that allows you to have built-in snapshotting. So, and so if you ever break your computer, you could roll back and it's built in. However, I was going to choose ext4 for the time being. So now I'm going to create a name. My name is is minix if i can type and password is very strong password that is totally not my name now normally you should create an administrator password for your machine so in case this password is stolen 
you you don't lose access to your computer. However, for testing purposes, I shall select this. Now I shall hit install, and it'll just take a little while, so I'll pause the recording. All right, so the installation is done, so I'll hit restart now. So, time to enter the strong and complicated password. And now, since I grabbed the XFCE edition, we have installed the XFCE edition of Arco Linux. Now, you can customize XFCE a lot. However, that will not be the topic of this video, just how to install. So, you've gotten here. This is Minix signing out.